Hey everybody, welcome to Stan Winston School of Character Arts on Facebook. We have a very exciting live webcast for you today. We're going to be unboxing a very cool uh, assortment of kits for making monsters. And this is our very first kit partnership with the fine folks at American Fine Arts Supplies. So we're excited to tell you about our new kits. It's going to be a lot of fun. And what you're seeing right now is a sculpture by the great Jor Shell. He did it for one of our lessons, and I actually believe we have a Jor Shell kit. It's not for this character, but for another one of his lessons, correct? Right. Absolutely. Uh, so let me introduce you to our, our very special guest today. Uh, on my left here, we have Chris Delling, who is the marketing director from American Fine Arts Supplies, AFA. And next to him, we have the lovely and talented Alana Sloggett, who is our Stan Winston School Enterprise Sales Executive. And uh, you guys kind of hatched this whole kit concept. I and mean, it's something yeah. we've been talking about for years, about how we can uh, make life easier for our students, help them find the stuff they need. And so we've provided links in that. But you guys really hatch this whole kit concept. So how did it all start, Ilana? Uh, well, I focus on the group uh, subscription initiative, and that is <laughs> allows for collaborative access for groups and organizations. And the most asked question was, you know, where do we find the supplies? How do we get the tools? And it just became an issue with teachers and uh, organization owners and I wanted to find a solution that would be an all-in-one kit. So I started the conversation with Chris, and he's done an amazing job. He's gone above and beyond what I expected, and now we have a comprehensive kit for each of our courses. And we're going to unbox it for you yeah. on camera. Chris, <laughs> what was your uh, recollection of... Yeah, so we, we met uh, four or five months back, maybe as many as six. It wasn't uh, Son of Monster Palooza, but it was at Monster Palooza, and it was exactly that. We had the conversation about wanting to basically streamline the process uh, for students to participate alongside of the content. Mm -hmm. um, because we noticed that, and you guys know this better than anyone, but nobody does what Stan Winston does as well as Stan Winston does it, right? Like the multimedia content is fantastic. But some of the support material to go along with it wasn't quite up to par. So we noticed this, this disconnect. And we identified a few challenges that students might otherwise face if they were trying to do this on their own that we were going to try to help them overcome, right? And what were those challenges? You so guys? the first challenge was really simple. It was literally just identifying well, what is it that I need to participate alongside of the content. And so when I talk about that disconnect, it's you have this fantastic multimedia content at the top and then you, know, you scroll down to the bottom of the page and you have this material section in written form. And it'll say you know, really vague things like, loop tool or wire tool or serrated tool and there's no specificity there right like it doesn't say camper w22 it doesn't say pedro valdez 05 or sculpture house 204 so the first challenge we needed to overcome was just literally identifying what goes inside of the kit um and we did that right like we went through in some instances frame by frame um, until we figured out exactly what tool... And, the, and these are three of the lessons. Now, do we have the fourth here, or are these are the three we're unboxing today? Uh, we're unboxing two of these Two today. of them. Which, uh, one are we, which ones are we unboxing? We guys? have Don Lanning's Textures and Forms, uh, and then we also have... Uh, human okay, okay, so, yeah. so you're going through the, the vague materials list <laughs> right. on both of these lessons, right. going, okay, for those in the know, yeah, loop tool makes sense, but... Let's let's get specific. So yeah. I, I interrupted you, but these are the two lessons that they are. No, and that and that's exactly it. So I mean, even if you go into the multimedia version of that materials list, you'll find that you know you'll get an artist who will hold up a collection of tools, a handful of tools, and they say, "Look, these are the greatest tools. I couldn't do what I do without these tools. I love them." And then they'll put them off frame, and you don't see them again until like hour two or hour three. And so unless you have the fortitude to sit there and scrub back and forth through this video to figure out what's being used, I have to think that there's a lot of people who are probably just like, I don't know. You know, I don't know. I mean, especially amateurs. Like, even me, who's been in this industry for, you know, nearly a decade now, 
I, even I struggle sometimes to identify some of these tools. Now, for the most part, because, you know, we're one of the largest distributor for a lot of these manufacturers out there of these tools, I, I can at least say, okay, well, that's a Kemper W series tool. Maybe it's a W22. But again, I have to think that amateurs are, aren't necessarily going to be able to identify the tools that easily. So we've solved that challenge, right? Like we went in, we identified everything that was being used. We've taken care of that. Um, the second challenge, though, is availability, right? Right. And so even if you're able to identify everything that goes inside of these kits, well, where do you get it? Uh, there's two options, really. You go into a brick-and-mortar retail store like us, American Fine Arts Supplies, or a handful of our competitors, and you pick it up that way. But even then, we're in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Like, we have access to these stores, whereas the 99%, everybody who lives outside of Los Angeles, they don't. Um, you know, if you live in a city like where my mom grew up, Boynton City, Michigan, they have two stoplights. <laughs> but they have zero special effects stores and zero sculpting supply storefront. It just doesn't exist. So they're going to have to go online to find this stuff. But even if you go online to find it, um, you run into situations where it's like, you know, I found this tool for $14, but then there's another distributor or, or retailer who sells it for $16 or 22 and so you're creating like a spreadsheet right? just to make sure you're getting the best value. And it's just, it's totally inefficient to do it that way. It's much easier if you allow a, a single entity like us to go source all of that stuff for you, right? And again, because we're one of the larger distributors, we're purchasing at uh, wholesale and we're purchasing in quantities that give us access to pricing that regular people, you know, mm -hmm. like uh, the average person off the street wouldn't have access to. And so we can pass some of those savings along to, uh, to customers. Um, and so the, the last challenge we wanted to overcome uh, is price. And we can kind of like back up into that, that secondary challenge to talk about this a little bit because let's say you are in Los Angeles and let's say you do have access to these stores. Well, you guys know as well as I do, driving from point A to point B, even if point B is five miles away, could take you 45 minutes. That's, That's why kind of we have money. an online school. I don't have right. to drive to work. <laughs> right. We just do it on our phones. But again, that's the 1%. So let's talk about the 99%. I, I priced out just the other day. I went to one of our competitors' websites, who will remain unnamed. And I was like, okay, if I needed to get just these two tools, how much is it going to be to ship these two tools? Mm -hmm. Right. It was like $12. Yeah. Um, Inside of some of these kits, there's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 different tools. And so imagine if you have to go to four or five different online mm -hmm. retailers to try to find this stuff, because I guarantee you, you can't find it all in one place. It just doesn't exist. I mean, it does now because we're doing it for the purpose of this. But outside of that, it just doesn't exist. And so to put things in perspective, I'm not sure which one is the Don Lanning kit, but... We'll find out. We're going to do... <laughs> by the yeah. way, guys, we are unboxing these things. We are not going to sit and keep these things closed and drive you crazy. We are going to buy... We'll find out which one is the Don Lanning kit. So, Go ahead. real quick, because I know we're about to segue into that. Um, we priced the shipping on that just the other day, and we can ship anywhere in the country for 16 bucks, And that's the entire kit. That's the clay, that's all the tools, that's the wood board, that's everything. Um, so, that's a huge value, yeah. right? So... In terms of price, there's really no better way to do this than what we're doing right now. And I think if you encapsulate everything that we've just talked about, if, if you kind of back into some of these challenges, like we've solved the challenge of identifying what comes in the kit, we solved the challenge of availability, we solved the challenge of price. At the end of the day, what we've done is we've created an easy button, right? Like what is it, staple? That's what like it's that all that about. That's an easy button. Like that's it. You you click that button. Uh, for you guys, it's the subscribe button to gain access to the content. For us, it's the add to cart button. Yeah. You get the kit, you get everything you need to participate. And then you get a big content. brown easy button big, in the yeah, mail. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you open it. Well, let's, let's. I mean, obviously we're going to go into more of the, the benefits and, yeah. and, and the time savings, but let's do it while we're opening these up. Because I have to tell all of you, we at Stan Winston School, are, we haven't seen the kits in person. Mm -hmm. uh, Alana has been working with Chris, and we've been seeing you know, trading designs back and forth. We know what's in the kits, but we haven't seen them in person. So let's do it. Let's open one and we'll, we'll talk about what's in there. Once again, you are watching a Facebook Live webcast with Stan Winston School. I am Matt Winston. This is Chris Delling from American Fine Arts Supplies, and this is Alana Sloggett, our uh, enterprise sales executive. And we're about to show you our new AFA Stan Winston School kits for a couple of our lessons. So let's get started. Uh, we need a knife. Um, Alana, you've been working so hard on this. Why don't you do the honors? 
um, and be very careful, please. So let's come in tight. Tight, Jakey. So which one are we doing first oh. there? We're going to do this one, and we're going to go super slow. This is Don Lanning's Sculpting okay, Basics. But let's get in there and catch every moment of the knife. Opening it, and then it overhead. <laughs> just like those amazing unboxing videos that we see going viral on YouTube. Um, but All instead right. of a My Little Pony toy, Drum roll. can get right above there. We're gonna see what's in there. So first of all, we uh, we provide this beautiful paper. Right, beautiful. Um, so right? talk to us about Top this. Notch. Is this Top for notch. people to do their art? Or what? Yeah, you can do pretty much whatever you want with this. Let's be honest, it's, it's packaging paper. This is no fun. Let's get rid of the packaging paper. This is what's inside. So this was honestly one of the most challenging, but also one of the most fun kits to go source because Don Lanning uses some super random stuff. And so you'll see like, you know, inside of here, some of this is more traditional, like we have a black, you know, stipple sponge. Not sure if you can see that right there. Um, but then we get into just the, you know, twilight zone here. I mean, we use an Afro pick. Uh, this is a lemon zester. Yeah, sorry, we're going and, a little, a little faster. So this is a lemon zester. And these are all things that Don Lanning suggests you sculpt with in his video. These Absolutely. Are sort of out of left field tools that get an amazing that. effect. And that's why I was so excited to work with Chris, because he was passionate about finding every single tool. It wasn't just down to sculpting tools. It was finding all these tiny, obscure things. Yeah, it, it really was. I, I was mean, really shocked. The funniest found. tool of all that we had to go find was a, a cake decorating tool, right? Like, you know, and in, in the material section, he lists this as a large ball fondant tool. Right? So <laughs> I had to go like scrub through the video to go, what is a large ball fondant tool? I don't even know what that is. So anyways, it's a cake decorating tool. And then, of course, we have some of the more traditional tools. Like this is a, uh, this is a Kemper D9, just a traditional kind of wire end, a loop tool. Um, let me go ahead and set that right there. We're gonna run out of space here pretty mm -hmm. quick, so maybe we can start setting stuff in the back over there. But um, no we are unboxing happens. live here at Stan Winston School. For those of you just joining, this is a kit that Stan Winston School and the AFA have partnered on to support Don Lanning's sculpture uh, techniques, textures, and forms web course. So nope. what's next? So this is uh, an aluminum kind of scraper tool. Um, we have this. This is used, uh, honestly, more commonly for uh, wax, uh, but he uses it for clay. So again, you know, we identified what he was using in the kit, and we, we try to make sure that if we don't, if we can't find the exact same tool, because there's instances where some of these artists will actually make, yeah, they'll make their own tools. Sorry, there we go. Um, we go out of our way to try to find a tool with the exact same profile, so it, it, it has the same utility. Uh, as the tool he uses, even if it's not exactly the same tool. Nine times out of ten, though, we're able to find the exact same things that these artists use. Uh, so that's another tool right there. Um, again, more of a uh, traditional tool. This is a smaller kind of wire end loop tool. This is the Kemper W22 that I was making reference to earlier. Probably kind of hard to see that profile because it's pretty small. Um, so that's another one he uses. Uh, we have yet another tool. This is the uh, Kemper FT451, I believe, with a serrated edge. So he includes this in the kit as well. We're, we're getting asked a question by Samuel about yep. um, international shipping. Do you ship these kits internationally? So currently we're only doing this domestically, but we knew this question was going to come up. Um, as we expand the program, as we build out the infrastructure, we're definitely looking at opening this program up to international customers because we realize there's a lot of Stan Winston students who are just in the United States, right? But for right now, unfortunately, it's just a domestic program. Uh, but again, we're looking at opening that up in the coming months. And how can worldwide students let you know that that's what they want? Is there a comment section on the AFA site? Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, we have our own uh, Facebook page. It's American Fine Arts Foundry and Supplies. You know, make your voices heard. The, the other thing that I want to kind of get across here is that this is a process that we're constantly iterating on and improving upon. We're really open to getting feedback from students. So if you have any ideas for how we can improve the program in the future, please, you know, let us know. Um, hit us up on the Facebook page. 
you know, if you don't mind, they can leave comments on your page as well if they want to leave feedback there. But at the end of the day, we want to make this as, as, as best as we possibly can. We want to provide the most possible value. Um, so feedback is key. Absolutely. Yeah. So let us know where you live and we'll start compiling a list of yeah. our worldwide students, where you live, and uh, hopefully make it, make it work for you as well. Uh, but just so you know, uh, we are talking to uh, Neil Gorton. Uh, he has a site for different sorts of tools, a lot of, you know, casting and uh, silicones, that sort of thing. Um, not the same as what you're seeing in the box. And we're talking to him about uh, some European help because, you know, we do have a lot of European followers. But for now, this kit is US only, so let's keep looking. What else is in there? So we have another one of the random items. He actually uses lip gloss. Um, but this is one of those instances where, again, we wanted to provide the best possible value for you guys, the students. And so he recommended a name brand lip gloss. This performs the same function. The lip gloss that he recommended was like a $20 lip gloss. I found this for like a buck fifty, right? And it does the exact same thing. And so, you know, this is, this is something we opted to include in the kit in place of the $20 name brand one, again, because we want to provide you guys with the best possible value. So that's the lip gloss. Then we have some more <laughs> random stuff. That Don Danny Lanning uses. likes to use crazy tools he when he sculpts. He really sculpts. does. Uh, so he uses a wire cap brush. Again, we weren't able to find the exact <laughs> same wire cap brush that he uses, but we found one with the same profile, right? So you can see it's kind of a really fine, um, I don't even know what you would call that. I guess fine brush, right? So, you know, we found something that provided the same utility. We found it for a competitive price point, uh, and we included it in the kit. So we got a wire cap brush. We actually have another item that serves a similar function. This is supposed to be for a cat as well, although, you know, obviously it, it operates a little bit differently. But again, this provides some of the textures that Don talks about um, in his videos. So we have that for you. Set that off to the side. Uh, we also provided you with a couple additional tools here, so they're all kind of bundled together. Let me see if I can pull these apart. Um, these three right here are what are more commonly referred to as clay shapers or color shapers. I'm not sure if you're able to get in on that, but uh, we've got a couple different profiles, a couple different sizes for you. These were the ones that Don recommended, so we went and, again, you know, we sourced these. Don swears by these yeah. tools. Yeah. And he's not the only one. There's actually quite a few artists um, who use this in, in their kits, so you're going to be seeing these in other kits as well. Um, this last one, or second to last, rather, is just kind of a more traditional paintbrush, which he uses for his, uh, for his process as well. Really not a whole lot to show there. It's just, you know, traditional paintbrush. And then lastly, we have um, a tool, again, that he uses to create texture in the clay. Um, we had to manufacture this ourselves because there are technically people who make a tool similar to this, but we found that when we tested it on the clay, it wasn't creating the same texture that he was. Um, his, if I remember correctly, in the video was custom made as mm -hmm. well, and so we went in the back because in addition to being a, a distributor of special effects and sculpting supplies, we're also a, a manufacturer. Um, and so we have a bronze and stainless steel fine art foundry. Uh, we have fabrication services. So I have guys in the back who, if we can't find something or if something is too expensive, we will just go make it. Um, there you go. So we made that. Uh, and then lastly, we have three bricks of NSP medium uh, brown from Chivant. These were the, uh, or this was rather the clay that was recommended. So again, that's included in the kit. Uh, and then last but not least, I'm not sure why it's wrapped in saran wrap because it's just a board, but <laughs> we, Now we, this is to whack yourself in the head if your sculpture isn't coming along. Yeah, as, I, no. don't, I don't but think that's seriously, exactly uh, Don actually sculpted, he, for his whole lesson, he shows you how to create textures and forms on a canvas of clay. Yep. Uh, and so you've, you've got your board just like he does in the, in the video. Yep. So... That's actually it for the uh, for the Don Lanning kit. Um, all right. Well, we got a bunch of comments coming in. Yeah, I, I would love to get to some of these. So let's first start, of all, uh, we are joined right now by Stan Winston School teacher and fine artist Alfred Paredes, and he says, "Excellent. This is an interesting idea, guys. Great way for beginning and even advanced students to get further into these lessons. I'm sure this will be incredibly helpful to many people out there." 
I know I still get asked about the tools I used in my lesson. Funny yeah. you should say that, yeah. Alfred. Yes. Uh, so let me, let's if, if I can, yeah, let's just segue, segue into this over here. And then we're going to tell you guys how much this kit costs and all that other stuff. Yeah. So, funny that you should be watching, Alfred. Um, Alfred, are you still with us? Hopefully. Let us know hopefully. in the comments. So, again, when we talk about some of the ways that we, pro we try to provide the most possible value to students, there's instances where a sculptor will recommend... Um, either a tool or, you know, something like this, like an armature that maybe it's just kind of expensive. So in his video, he mentions that this adjustable armature that he uses um, is $45, right? And we had to kind of make a decision because in the beginning of the video, he mentions that you can build a, a traditional pipe armature. They've been doing it for hundreds of years. That's nine or 10 bucks, right? Yeah. And that's pretty competitively priced. But then he goes on for the next two minutes to talk about how this is all he ever uses, and this is what you want. This is amazing, and so we're like, okay, we need to include this thing, but the $45 price point is probably a little too much because he's got all this other stuff in the kit. And so when we started doing our research, I found that you can't even get this for really $45 anymore. It's closer to $50 or $60. There's some of our competitors who are creating a variation of this armature for as much as $90. So I went to the back, I talked to the metal fabricators, and I said, so most people are doing this for 50 or 60 bucks. Some people are doing it for 90. We need to do it for 30. <laughs> so they kind of gave me that incredulous look that they always do when I ask them to make something for a certain <laughs> price point. But we spent a week like sourcing all of the components that we would need to build this for the price point that we needed to build it for. And not only that, but we improved upon the design, I think. Um, so Alfred, this is better and yeah. cheaper, well, what, you know, but it's based on we'll your see. love. We'll see. I'd love to get his feedback, yeah. actually. So but what let's we did show him is... how it works. Let's uh, swivel it around. So, so this is an adjustable It's armature. an adjustable armature. We created a locking mechanism in here. So it's hard to see because it's so small, but there's one little ridge in here that locks into all of these other ridges. And basically what that allows you to do is really just kind of lock this thing into place so it's not going anywhere. Um, above and beyond that, we replace the hex nuts with wing nuts so that you can hand tighten and hand screw this down so that when you're working, it, it creates a more kind of fluid workflow, right? Like you don't have to break out the wrench if you want to adjust the armature. Um, so again, this is just one of the many ways that we're trying to provide the most possible value to students. Uh, we created this thing, which I'm actually really proud of, um, and we did it for a price point that uh, is better than anybody else is doing it for. We did this for 30 bucks. Again, it exists inside of the kit, so you'll never see the actual individual components and how much they cost. But I can tell you, this particular one, it's about $30. Yeah. That's a great it's price. A huge savings. Alfred says, uh, I had to make my own as well. A little bit of welding skills and some basic materials, but guaranteed buying this for 30 bucks uh, makes it worth it to just yeah. bypass all that and, yeah. and jump in. So we're going to jump back. We're so glad you're here with us, by the way, Alfred. Uh, we're going to jump back to... Don's kit, we have some questions about price point sure. on the Don Landon kit, and that includes everything you're seeing yep. here on the table. Everything uh, that you're seeing right here. So um, if memory serves, and I've been doing a lot of these kits, but I believe this kit is $139.99. Um, that's something we can check. I know, Alana, I gave you the, the URL to that private page. Is that something that you have? Yeah, I can get to that. Okay. Um, we actually have a few of these kits up on the site right now. Uh, we have three. Uh, we're in the process of, of putting the finishing touches on an additional three, so we should have six in total within like the next week or two. Um, so and here, Jake, why don't you come on in? This is the site. We've provided you guys with the links in the in the comments section. So that is the URL. Here, stay on that URL for a second. www.afasupplies.com forward slash stand dash Winston dot HTML. Uh, I guess you could just do stand dash Winston. It would probably come up. It's um, in the post. It's in the body. Okay. okay. It's all Excellent. there for you guys. And so the Don Landing kit, which is what we're showing you, and we're going to show you uh, Jordu's next, is one thirty nine ninety nine, And you get everything there. Yep. And for cheaper than you could find it yourself, and you don't need to spend and your whole day scouring the internet. Exactly. Much easier as well. And one shipping fee, and, and that's honestly probably where the most value is because, I mean, if you look at, at kind of how eclectic all of this stuff is, you'll never find it in one place. If you go online, you're going to have to pay multiple shipping fees. We've put it all in one box, and, and we've set it at, I think, a $16 uh, price point for shipping, which is, 
I honestly, I don't know how we did that, but we did. It. So, <laughs> especially with um, clay. Yeah, I was gonna say with the clay, with the board, with the weight it is, but you know, we did it. I'm proud of that. Um, there's gonna be a lot of kits that are, are similarly priced as well when it comes to shipping. So. All right, we've got a few more comments, and then we're gonna unbox this next one. Uh, a few more comments. Kyle Curlis says that's really affordable. Tommy Attaway says very cool. Josh Caleb Warren says where can I get mine? In the comments of this video you're watching right now, you can see links. Standing screen. Okay. So this is definitely an improvement on Alfred's. Um, let's see here. Got a few more. One second. How does, I don't know what that is. You guys do Fraser and Gore kits. Do we do Fraser and Gore kits? They're all coming, guys. Well, this is a new initiative. We want to make it as easy as possible for students to not only access our learning content, but then to acquire all the strange materials that most of our lessons require. So that's our goal, is to get through all of our lessons and make it as easy as possible. Um, let me scroll down here. Francisco Reyes Jr. says, can't wait. Uh, hoping to get started. Um, well, here's, here's another one. Jeremy Gooch said, when do these go on sale? And do they come with the DVD, or is that optional for those of us that subscribe? They are separate Yeah. right now. Uh, you would buy the DVD or the stream on our site, mm -hmm. and then click through to the AFA site to purchase the kit. Yep. And if you go to the materials list on our site, there is now a link that links you straight to the page in order to buy the kit. So we're so making it super easy, and these are available now, today. They yes. are ready to go. Yep. Uh, Hello from Norway, says Kenneth Arneson. Hey, dude. Uh, let's see, one more, and then we're going to... Oh, any plans to release a Prose transfer kit like this? Kyle, of course, again, uh, we really want to create a kit for every lesson we do. So, yes. Uh, we are going to bust into our next one. Let's do it. So let's put all the Don Lanning stuff back in his box. Okay. And let's get a close-up of that, because they can see, again, what's going in there. Okay. So we did an unboxing, now we're doing a boxing. You can actually bring the box yeah. to the table. And thank you all for joining us. Once again, this is Stan Winston School Facebook Live webcast. We are showing you our brand new kits that go with uh, our lessons. And it's a partnership between American Fine Arts Supply and Stan Winston School. We're joined by Chris Delling, the marketing director of the and our enterprise sales executive, Alana Sloggett. And they are the two who have been putting their heads together to, to make this happen. So, our next box, drum roll please, is a kit for Georgie Shell's like human oh, head okay. you sure? okay. and anatomy course. This is another sculpting course. So let's see what's in there. And go slow. We really have to save. You just really want to tease it out, huh? That's right. So what do we have inside? We have more of that wonderful. A severed brown human beard. head. <laughs> <laughs> Josh Caleb Warren, Stan Winston School rocks. Thanks, you rock too, Josh. So again, now this is probably one of the more traditional uh, kits that we've done. A, a lot of it is uh, stuff that you would probably find commonly on our storefront, um, some of our competitors' storefronts. Uh, again, though, you'll never find everything in one place. In fact, we actually had to manufacture the Lazy Susan turntable here, but we can kind of go through some of this stuff one by one. So, uh, And it is yeah. for, once again, this course, Human Head Anatomy and Sculpture by George Shell. He goes through the process for sculpting a realistic human head in clay. Yep, yep. Um, so pretty, pretty self-explanatory what this is, just a spray bottle. He actually uses uh, wed clay, EM217 in this tutorial. It's a water-based clay. In order to keep that from drying or cracking, you're gonna to wanna to spray it every once in a while with a spray bottle. Just kind of missed it to keep the clay nice and moist, so that's what this is for. Yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. That way we can kind of set some of this stuff out there. Um, Again, we've actually seen this black stipple sponge in uh, Don Lanning's kit. So you'll find that we're using this again in this kit. He uses it for a similar purpose. Um, so we have that right there. 
Uh, Fernando says, no head form to sculpt on. No, uh, Jordu created this with a simple armature, and yep. then he built it out. It's all clay. Yep, yep, he absolutely did that. And again, that keeps costs down, because if you buy, you know, like we sell um, an Ed head uh, from the Monster Makers, but just that armature itself is $65. And so the way Jordu does it is, is considerably less expensive. Um, so we got another sponge for you that he also uses as part of his process. Um, we've got some masking tape and again, you know, if, if you're not quite sure how all of this stuff applies, you'll have to subscribe, watch the video, see what his process is all about. It'll all make sense at that point. Um, this is one of the tools that he uses for part of his process. This is the sculpture house number 204. You can kind of see the profile of the tool right there. Um, we'll come back to this in a second because this is actually for the armature. And then again, you know, we've got quite a few other tools that he uses inside of the kit as well. So this is, I believe, an FT-453. Hey, Connor. Thanks for joining us. Connor Asher's in the house. Uh, we've got a, another traditional wire end tool. This is a D9. I think we even use that tool in the Don Lanning kit, if memory serves. Kenneth says this has been such an issue for him, accessing materials. Thank you so much for putting these kits together. Yeah, absolutely. That's you the know, goal, that's... to make it as easy for you guys as possible. This is the feedback that we've we've been getting since the dawn of time, really. So we, we, we decided to finally act on it. Um, this is the W24 uh, and W21 tools also included inside of the kit. Um, he uses a, a standard chip brush, so we went out and got one of those for you as well. Ben Minter is definitely interested in these. Excellent. They're pretty great, aren't they, Ben? Uh, so we've got another traditional wire end tool. This is the Kemper D2. We've got another one of these serrated aluminum scrapers used for kind of knocking down the clay, smoothing it out. Uh, we've got this set of wire cutters so that you can actually cut into that big clay block. Um, and that's actually an important point. I, I didn't bring it with me today. Included in this kit uh, for the price point that we have on the website is actually 50 pounds of wet clay because that's what's recommended. Um, we'll be shipping that in addition to what you see inside of this box. Again, there really wasn't much to show. It's just two blocks of clay, and so I didn't bring it today. Um, what we do have, however, is this turntable, which again, we manufactured in-house. Lazy Susan on a nice piece of wood. This is what Jordi Show recommends to sculpt on, so you can kind of, you know, turn it and work at the same time. So we built one of these for you. That's gotta be one of the prettiest uh, mm -hmm. Lazy Susans I've ever we think seen. so, right? You know, we figured if we're gonna do it, we might as well yeah. do it right. So and when you're done sculpting, you can clean it off and chop vegetables, <laughs> and uh, it serves a lot of purposes. Right. Whack yourself in the head if your sculpture's not going well, like you did with Dan Don's board. Um, uh, so speaking of the board, we have yet another board for the purpose of the armature. So, you know, we got the board for you. Uh, we have the flange and the pipe. So this is actually how he does his armature. I know we had a student earlier mentioning if it comes with a head form. This is what Jordi recommends. Um, now he also recommends, if memory serves, uh, some common household items that we elected not to include in the kit. Things like newspaper. Yeah. Um, you know, that's something that's readily available. Uh, so we elected not to, to include it in the kit because that's something you just have in any common household. Um, so that's it. That's that's Jordu's kit right there. That's actually one of his kit. We have uh, another one of his kits coming up uh, in the near future. Although I, I think we do have it on the site, right? Uh, yes, yeah, it is on the site. site. It's for the it's for this course actually. Yeah, yeah. Um, so let's just get a nice high wide shot. What is the price point on this kit for human that's actually head a good question. anatomy I don't and sculpture? Remember off the top of my head, I can probably show you right out. here. Let's find it. Uh, find it for us. All right, guys, so this kit you just saw, which is, again, for George Shell's Human Head and Anatomy course. It's the one in the middle there. That's 129 bucks, and remember, it does include the wed clay. Yep. Uh, so all of this stuff 
for 129. What is shipping, uh, domestic shipping for this kit? So domestic shipping on this one is a little bit more expensive because again, we're shipping 50 pounds of clay, but we tried to do it as inexpensively as possible. And so what we did is we put that 50 pounds of clay into a uh, post office flat rate box. So first off, it travels anywhere in the country inside mm -hmm. of two to three business days. Secondly, it's like $15 as opposed to if we were to do that by FedEx. Mm -hmm. Right. If I have to ship from where I'm at in Los Angeles to Florida through FedEx, it's like 40 or $50. Yeah. We don't want to go that route. So we can ship 50 pounds of clay for about 15 bucks. And then again, uh, the cost to ship the kit itself is somewhere in that range as well. I think it's 15 or 16. So I think total cost of shipping for everything included is something like $31. For this kit. And that's for because this it comes with a v v it comes bunch with of a, clay. A really heavy, yeah. Right. And, the re and a reminder on the landing kit, yep. which is the one we saw first, and you guys who are just joining us can scroll back to the beginning of the video when we're done. That one was 16 bucks. Yeah, that one was $16 right. and that includes Shipping. the clay. Yep, yeah. that includes the clay. All right, well, we have some comments I want to get to here. Eric, can you help me get back to the, uh, the video? Uh, we've got people very excited about the upcoming holidays. They're going to be asking for these kids for the holidays. Right? Yeah. Uh, here's a few comments. Now, overseas shipping. We're getting a lot of comments about overseas shipping. Yeah. Just to be clear, we are starting this as a domestic project, mm -hmm. uh, but the goal is to go worldwide with it. So we're starting in the U.S. and will eventually spread to the rest of the world. Yep. Absolutely. So uh, that is the big plan. Kelly Brunel says, this gets me so excited. Right? <laughs> Unboxing videos are amazing. They're the biggest thing on YouTube now. <laughs> um, let's see here. We've got Emily uh, Schreiber says, just in time to put it on my wish list for Hanukkah. LOL, the Lazy Susan has me sold. Excellent. And uh, the Lazy Susan makes MJ Araujo think of pizza. So <laughs> okay. this is this beautiful Lazy Susan. It's great for sculpting or uh, pizza. Uh, we have another, uh, Stephen Romero says, yes, this is going on my Christmas list. Um, Josh Caleb Warren says, will self-drying clay work? Any clays work for these lessons, but we are providing you with the clays that the artists use in the lessons. So if you don't want to use wet clay, you can go ahead and use Chavant in Jordu's lesson. It's just a lot more expensive, Chavant clay, but it won't dry out on you. Uh, so yeah, you can use any clays, but we're providing what the, the artists use. A uh, few other, Pascal Benolt says, hey, from Corsica. Very excited about this. Eventually, we'll be able to deliver to you in Corsica. Luca says, this is amazing. Um, so a lot of very excited students. Excellent. Uh, of Excellent. access. That's great to hear. About this. And as, as Chris mentioned, we have another kit that is now available. Why don't we have a close-up here on Jordu's sculpture? Okay. That, there you go. That goes along with this lesson. We didn't bring the box with us today. But this is also currently available on the site, the kit you need to create your own maquette sculpture with Jordu Shell. So two Jordu Shell kits are yep. ready to go. Yep. And once again, the links to the site are in the comments of this live webcast. So just check it out, click over there, and get yourself a kit. Uh, will the class be on DVD, says Roberto. Yes. All of our classes are on DVD, Roberto. You can also subscribe and get access to our entire library or purchase the stream, but we do have DVDs of all of our courses. Um, so guys, let's put that stuff back in the box okay. and sort of send our folks out with some thoughts and also any comments you guys have on this whole kit partnership, other lessons you'd really like us to create kits for. We are now in a great relationship with AFA and that's gonna help guide us on what's next. So we are reboxing right now. Yeah, I'd like to say real quick, um, the feedback is key and then just to kind of you know provide you guys with a little insight into what's kind of upcoming. Uh, we've got a kit we're putting together for uh, Casey Love and Tim Gore for the latex mass painting techniques. We've got a kit that we're putting together for Simon Lee. Uh, and then we also have a kit that's very nearly finished for Alfred Perez. That's why it's funny he was in the feed earlier today. But his kit uh, is virtually done. Um, we're just trying to figure out, you know, how we're going to be able to do that for the price point that we want to be able to do it for. So 
Um, we've got some exciting stuff coming. I, I really look forward to getting the feedback from all of you so I know, you know which kits that you guys are the most excited about because that will kind of inform the direction that we go uh, in creating future kits. So. And we have a question here about whether these kits are good for beginners or professionals. What is your answer to that? Honestly, this, I think it's... I, go I ahead. have to yeah, say, yeah, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. This is the best course for starting with sculpture. Uh, Don Lanning is kind of like the Bob Ross of sculpture. He's really <laughs> if you don't know who Bob to... Ross is, he's the painter with the afro. All the happy the, trees. Happy the, trees. Yeah, yeah, happy trees. Who yeah. talks about his happy trees. <laughs> That's Don Lanning. But this is a great course to start with sculpture. Uh, so, yeah. So, there you go. For beginners or pros. I mean, pros. a pro who's been around for a while is going to pick up a lot of great uh, techniques from Don and Jordu as well. So yeah. good for both sides of the spectrum. There's always something new to learn. You could have been doing this for 20 years and you don't, you, nobody knows it all, right? There's always a new technique to learn. So uh, I think they're great for, for both amateurs yeah. and professionals, absolutely. And then the big goal here, obviously, guys, is to enable you to jump in and start learning with as little hunting around and stress as possible. That's really the whole goal. Yeah. And once again, um, let's sort of tell them where they can find it and tell them what's available and then we're going to say goodbye. So once again, Chris, where can they go to find these kits? Sure, yeah. So um, we're creating them through uh, the company that I work for, American Fine Art Supplies. Um, the URL I've been told has been provided in the description of the video. Is that correct? Yep, it's okay. there in the comments. So that will take you directly to the page where we have these kits. That's where you can purchase them from. Um, and then, of course, uh, the, the multimedia content, um, that's what you're going to get directly through Stan Winston to either a subscription or purchasing the DVD. Alana, do you have any final thoughts? Because you were so uh, hugely involved in this initiative. How I'm are excited. you feeling today? I'm happy and I'm glad you guys are excited for it because I'm very excited for this. So. Thank so you. thank you all for, for joining us uh, on this Facebook Live webcast. We're going to do a new unboxing video, I think, every time we get a new kit in. That's awesome. Right? Yeah, I'm all for it. Wouldn't that I'm be fun? Yeah, let's do it. So we'll be doing more of these, guys. This is just the beginning. Please check out the site, uh, the AFA site. Check out these kits. We guarantee you that this will save you time, it will save you money, it will make your life much easier so you can start focusing on the art, which is really what it's all about. Yep. So once again, I am Matt Winston for Stan Winston School. This is Chris Delling for AFA and Alana Sloggett also for Stan Winston School. Thank you guys for joining us for this live webcast. Uh, it'll be up later if you wanna rewatch it, if you missed part of it. Also thanks to Jake Borowski, who's been on camera, and Eric Gray Lidoff, who's been on comments, and Balaz and Dimitar, our social media admins, who have also been on Facebook. And uh, let me see, if there are any final comments here, let you guys finish the show. Uh, give me a moment here. Boom, just purchased, Gina Sandy. <laughs> All right. Gina Sandy Excellent. just right. jumped in. Excellent. Uh, enjoy, Gina, this is gonna make your life very easy. Yep. Um, how can we have the kits? Jeffrey, once again, go to the website link that is in the comments of this video. Mm -hmm. You'll find it right there. And what are the average price? Once again, Roberto, we're talking about in the 129, 130 zone for these two kits. Uh, other kits will be less or more, yep. but that's far less than you would spend if you went out and sourced each of these things individually. In shipping alone, this yeah, is saving is huge. Absolutely. Um, what are the average price? Finally, hooray for us, says Kenneth Arneson. And let's see if we can find a good one to end it. All right, here we go. This is how we're going to end it, with a quote from you guys. This is from Emily Schreiber. Emily says, thank you all so much. This kind of thing makes me feel quite lucky, considering the self-taught folks from 20 years ago before the Internet. <laughs> right and the resources that you are all providing yep. that is the goal is to reach you guys and make your lives easier so thank you for joining us thank you thank you go buy a kit we'll see you later